So I bought one of these more professional joysticks about a year ago from eBay. Paid less than shown here for it, but they're still available on eBay and Amazon. Uh, it feels pretty nice to use, so it's about time I put it to use. About five years ago, I played around with some cheaper 2D plus click joysticks. And I made a video about them and getting the data into processing. Five years on and things have changed a little, so I should probably revisit that video. Anyway, now we have access to the keyboard.write function within Arduino, so we can program the Arduino with the joystick to behave as an additional keyboard for using games and anything else really. Using the keyboard write means that there's no further software needed to process the joystick commands. Here's a quick schematic of how these things are configured electrically. The pan, tilt and rotation are all 10k linear potentiometers. They are mechanically sprung loaded to a center point and there is a push button which is normally open on the top. Here's mine with some leads soldered on and connected up to the Arduino Leonardo. I'll put a fritzing file up on my website with the connection details. Basically all the pots are wired to ground 5 volt with the wipers on the Arduino's analog input 0, 1 and 2 and the button is wired to A3 and ground with A3 being pulled up in the code. So here's a quick sketch I've made to test it. You can see it's pretty simple. It's based around the analog voltage reading sketch that's within the Arduino platform or IDE. In the setup, the only thing I've done differently is to set A3 to be internal pull up. That's our button. And then down here, I've got the pan tilt uh, rotate on the button as analog reads. And then I'm spitting them out as a string here, uh, separated by spaces. This is just concats uh, with some spaces and then serial printing that out with a delay in between. And then if we go to our serial plotter, you can see here that we have some lines and it's not very clear at the moment, but if I press the button, you can see our values from sort of zero to 1023. Uh, and you can see that I can move my pan and tilt and then rotate as well. And here's my final sketch. So this takes the inputs from the potentiometers. Uh, if they're less than 300 or greater than 900, it spits out a character as if it's being punched on the keyboard. And it does this repeatedly, but only 10 times a second. So again, we're reading our pan and tilt and rotate variables. And then we're querying just based on values uh, and then spitting out keyboard entry. So here, if the button is pressed, which is on A3, we send a lowercase h. For the pan, we've got the J and the L, and these are the, just the ASCII numbers. You can look this up pretty simple. And then again, this is for the, the tilt, so I and K, and then the rotation, I've got Q and E. Uh, so these are the mappings I'm using just for the game that I want to use this in, which is a Kerbal Space Program. Depends on what you want to use it. You can just reprogram the ASCII codes, or you could use the arrow keys if you wanted to, I guess. And then if we go into the serial monitor, if I press the button, we should get H. And then you can see that as we move joystick around, we get different variables or different letters being sent as if it's keyboard mode. Pretty useful. So here I'm playing the uh, KSP docking scenario. Now I've got pretty close, I'm starting to use the uh, joystick for control. This is at four times speed, so you can see that the uh, key being pressed once every tenth of a second gives you quite a lot of control over the spacecraft, and then eventually I can uh, dock. So does it work? Yes. Uh, could it be better? Of course it could. Um, things that could be improved, the sensitivity of the joystick so that when you move to extremities, you get more acceleration in any particular axis and less near the origin. Could do with some smoothing because it's not very smooth uh, and maybe some averaging because I know that the raw data isn't very accurate. Having two joysticks could also be helpful, specifically in KSP, one for the rotational axes and the other one for the translational. And then having sort of one handheld controller because I'm having to hold down the joystick to be able to move it currently. So uh, I quickly modeled a 3D printed piece of plastic, which is acting as like a hold down. And then I guess you could make this into a proper controller in the future.